Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. Today's system is from the user Jolly Vex in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending their simulation. So without further ado everyone, let's get straight into this. It's actually a save file this time, not a workshop, so we've got it all here, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and see uh, what they have prepared for us. Okay, here it is. Right, let's see, is there any description that loads or are they on the objects themselves? Let's see, is it going to load? Come on. There you go. Okay, right. Ooh, this looks pretty exotic. Ooh, I like the asteroid belts. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. In the Pinwheel Galaxy lies a system named the Armand System. The creation of this system is very nonsensical and wild. I hope you like it. The system is based off an FNF mod called Problems Vengeance. Okay, cool. Right, so that's everything that's got for us. So I'm guessing the descriptions are in the objects. Okay. Welcome to Armin, the star of the system. It is a yellow giant near in its expansions. It will grow to about 100 times its size, completely engulfing the inner planets. 100 times its size. <laughs> okay. Very nice. I like the asteroid belt, so that does look cool. Right, so the zone's off. Okay, right. So, first of the objects, we have heater here. Okay. In this, oh yeah. Turn the goggles off, yeah. I am. Oh yeah, it's losing a lot of material. I'm not surprised. Okay, there it is. So also known as Papyrus is a Venus-like object that has a thick and hazy atmosphere. It reaches temperature over 700 Fahrenheit. The people who live in this system haven't discovered yet because of the sheer lightness of arm and, and its belt. Eater is not done clear in its orbital past. It's a silicon tip to the planet though. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, lost in the astral belt in the glare of that star. Right, next up we have uh, Caldum. Over here. The smallest out of the planets, it formed when two big asteroids collide with each other. Um, VBXS is a captured asteroid in Oceania. It's a fragment that formed when the collision happened. So I'm guessing there it's two moons. Yeah, okay. Orbiting the very red object there. There you go. Looking good. 500 Celsius over there. Okay. Pretty hot. That's your start. All right. Nice. Moving on. Taking a big jump to humid over here. Earth-like world, maybe? Looking pretty good. Also called uh, Mistralon. It's a habitable planet. It appears as a blue planet with green grass and many islands. It also has two times the mass of Earth. Okay. Looks pretty fresh. 19 Celsius. Look on the stats. 93 and 13. Very nice. No magnetic field, though. Has one moon. Scarity over here. It's likely a capsule moon because of its elliptical orbit and weird rotation. It is the seventh largest moon in the system. It's 300 Celsius as well. Pretty hot. That's a cool view of the star. Oh, yeah. Hey. Nice. Then we have Irony over here. It's the second largest rocky planet and appears as a pale pink planet. Uh, planet, I think that's what I'm going to say. It gets its pinkish appearance from volcanic rock and rust on its surface. Irony has oxygen in its atmosphere as well. Okay. Pink glow has yeah, the faint atmosphere there as well. Looking good. Okay. Right, next up we're heading to this one. Amber. A captured interstellar object. It's very amethysty pink, isn't it? Yeah. Amethyst on itself giving it a shiny look. It was supposed to be super shiny, but the recent updates destroyed its shininess. It doesn't look too shabby. If we turn that off, is that gonna make a difference? Yeah, there you go. Looks pretty good to me. The amethyst planet. I like it. Looks good. Maybe that'll make the thumbnail. We'll see. Right, Amber. Right. So next up we have Do It over here. No description. It's an asteroid. Okay. Is that the same with a lot of these here? All these guys? Yeah, another asteroid. Asteroid. Okay. So we've got this one over here. Triple asteroid system, eh? Well, what's this? Okay, hello. Oh yes, okay. Triple asteroid system. They got in a binary when uh, they got close to each other. One formed from a collision. Okay, so this one was from a collision. Nice. Okay. Triple asteroid oh, system there. Right, they're near this object called Goliath. I'm guessing this is yeah, a big object. Yep. Gas world. Super Jupiter with a great gravitational force. It's got seven Jupiter masses. This thing is a beast. It is the largest out of all the planets and likely got a strange band from other gas giants. Also inherited other planets, maybe. Okay. Moons. No descriptions on these guys. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing for those guys either. Largest of the moons here. Half the radius of Earth. Okay. Pretty substantial size. 
little Mondale over here. Okay, looking good. And then this one as well. Cool. Then we have Toxin over here. Very green. The third largest planet. It appears as a green banded planet. It gets its green bands from high amounts of ammonia and sulfuric acid. Pretty interesting design, actually. I like that. Moons. Anything major here? There's a blue one. No description on it. Full view of the gas giant, though. Okay. There's all these guys. Got a world called Knight over here. Okay. That one's got a bit of liquid on it. No descriptions on any of these guys. Okay, got second largest moon. It appears as yellowish orange hue. It serves to me that sulfur. Fairly nice. Okay. The inverted. What is this? A bizarre design for sure. There you go. Pretty funky. Okay. Looking good. Rest of the moons. No descriptions. Okay. Next up, we've got Iceberg. It's a super earth, is it? 1.4 Jupiter masses, rocky planet. That is a beast. Iceberg is the largest rocky planet. It's made out of ice and has lots of glasses. It's most likely formed out of all, um, last out of all the planets from collisions. Okay, so that's a monster rocky planet. That thing is a, oh, gravity on that thing would be really rough. Okay, that's a huge rocky world. Oh, it's so large. We haven't seen a big rock in quite a while, actually, but that is... Certainly one right there. That thing is massive. Okay, there you go. Oh, God, it looks pretty cool. What's going on there? High contrast elevation. Oh, yeah. Pretty barren looking, though. All right. Ooh, a lot of objects out here. Right, next up we've got Methane. This must be a guy, like Ice Giant. Yeah. Okay. Blue gas giant, smallest gas giant out of all of them. The planet is a very core cool, made out of, you guessed it, methane. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah. Moons, light blue object with glasses that spew into space. That's kind of your Triton Enceladus kind of world there. Ion past. Sunburnt object. Right. Then we have Shromp. Crump? Shromp. There you go. No description. Alright. Moving on. Object from another star system. Flying by, eh? Oh, yes. Oh, it does come back, though. Alright. Old one over here. First discovered dwarf planet in the system. It has one moon named Blitz. Okay. It's a pretty dark trail. There it is. No description for it, though. Mysterious purple world there. Okay. Then we got a bunch more dwarf worlds on here. So that one's in opposition with the old one world we just saw. Resonance. With rings of one moon. Dink. <laughs> there he is. Very small ring system. That's definitely that definitely would have been formed by a moon that got close to the roosh limits, my guess. It's, it looks like that sort of ring system. Would have been a small moon as well. Okay. Three dwarf planet system. Okay. Kind of like those asteroids we saw earlier. So one small object orbiting the bigger one and then binary with the second one. Both identical sizes in radius. Very, very bizarre. Okay. What is this? A very, very mysterious glow. Oh, it's one of the uh, glowy worlds. We like these. <laughs> hey. Might be an object from another star. A mysterious high temperature world sitting on the outer edge. Clouds. Crazy cloud object. We always like those. Has a moon as well. There you go. A little bit of that. Pretty cool thing you'd see in the sky, those clouds reflecting all that. There you go. Looking good. I want to say that's mainly everything. Not all of these have descriptions, but I've tried to click on all of them. Yeah, a lot of random dwarf planets out here with no descriptions. There you go. I think that's everyone. There you go. Unless there's anything further away hidden out. You never knew. That seems to be everything. Okay. Nice. So that does it for the armor system, everyone. What do you think of that? Not bad. I think it does need a little more in the uh, writing department, though. There was a lot of objects without much descriptions. But either way, nice system nonetheless. Thank you for sending it in. So again, the curator of the system, Jolly Vex. 
enjoyed that let us know what you think of this system down below in the comments everybody as well if you'd like to submit your own system make sure to join my discord server link in the description where you can upload your system but please make sure to read the uh, regulations first as we do have like minimum object requirements and stuff like that so make sure to give those a read as well um otherwise my team may uh, reject your system and then you may have to fix it so yeah try and avoid that and then uh yeah submit them according to the regulations and it should be good to go then i can check them out for uh, one of these videos everyone but yeah that all said and done make sure you guys all have a great day stay safe out there now I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.